Hello! Today's video, we will continue on Form 4 KSSM Chapter 9, Human Digestive System. The content standard is on 9.5 defecation. Learning standard 9.5.1 explain the functions of the large intestine in terms of absorption of water and vitamins and formation of feces. We have learned digestion, step 1. We also have learned absorption, step 2. For the food that was unable to be absorbed, what we call as undigested food, together with the dead cells, epithelial cells, fibers, fibers meaning it comes from the cellulose wall of the plant cells that we eat, and the water, all this group of substances will enter the large intestine and all these substances will move through peristaltic action along the large intestine. Now, we look at the diagram of our large intestine. Our large intestine consists of colon. Okay, this part is colon. Chycum. Okay, this part is chycum. And the small part is our appendix. At the very end, we have rectum. And the last part of the large intestine is an anus. There are two main functions of large intestine. The first function is absorption of water and vitamins. Water here will include water and mineral salts. As for vitamins, these include metabolic byproducts of some bacteria such as vitamin B, vitamin K and also folic acid. And the second function of large intestine is for the formation of feces. Now, what is the importance of absorption of water and vitamin in the large intestine? The absorption of water in large intestine helps to form semi-solid feces. This process also enables our body to retain water. As for the absorption of vitamins, it ensures to maintain the health. The diagram shows the whole process of defecation. We start from the beginning. After the water is absorbed in the large intestine, the remaining waste is now in the form of semi-solid that we call as feces. These feces contain dead cells from the inner layer of the intestine. The feces also contains waste products such as bile pigments, bacteria and toxic substances. Second, the wall of large intestine also secrete mucus. This is to smoothen the movement of feces until the feces reach the anus part. The movement of feces will take about 12 to 24 hours before it enters the rectum. Third, the feces will accumulate in the rectum until the pressure in the rectum increases and triggers the need to expel the feces from the body. And the last part, the rectum muscle will contract. This is to expel the feces from the anus. This process is called as defecation. Our large intestine has a huge population of bacteria. There are more than 1,000 different species of bacteria in the large intestine and a healthy balance between beneficial and less beneficial bacteria is very important for the host health and also for a stable environment in the alimentary canal. Now, think for a while. 
What do you think is the effect of antibiotics on the large intestine bacteria population? Try to answer the questions. These are my suggested answers. Antibiotics will inhibit the growth of the bacteria's population in the large intestine. Due to that, the healthy balance between the beneficial and less beneficial bacteria in the large intestine can no longer be achieved. The host health can be affected. Because if you still remember the metabolic byproduct of some of the bacteria in the large intestine are vitamin K, vitamin B and folic acid which is needed in our body. And environment in the elementary canal become unstable. We have come to the end of today's lesson. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.